What is poppin' y'all? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're taking a look at another anime review. And this is a review of a special My Hero episode, which came out around Christmas time, New Year time, and recently got its own dub. And I only watch anime in dub, so that is what I have done over the past couple of days. I watched this one little special My Hero episode in anticipation for the seventh season, because I, I, I love My Hero. It's one of my favorite animes and it is one of the animes that actually got me into anime so i have to give it that special bit of respect and this is a special about a card game so let's quickly run into the story so obviously with all the shit going down they have to stay in their dorms for christmas and new year and the new year festival the new year party that uh ua always throws has been cancelled due to obviously all the league of villains shit that's going on and um Lamillion comes in with dressed as a snowman wearing a speedo i don't i don't really know why he's like constantly fucking naked it's really obnoxious and annoying but oh well he comes in with a very special card game made by like hatsumi where you can put cards down and they basically fight on like an AI plane. So it's kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh, kind of like Pokemon. And it was really interesting to see the characters in this light. And it got to show a load of interesting battles between characters that we wouldn't normally see battles against. So it was a really cool creative episode. And the fights were really interesting. We had just each one of like Class 1A going up against each other. Throwing up like random cards of like random people from their class. Or random pro heroes as well. Sero got a lot of love in this episode and I'm very happy because he's one of my favorite characters and I think Sero deserves a lot more love and attention um because I want a Sero figure I want a figure of Sero um that needs to happen all right that, that just needs to happen we have one for the fucking invisible girl before Sero it, it needs to happen but uh, we then have Bakugo coming out of his room and losing to, well, drawing with Deku. And then he blows up the machine. And that's it. That's where the anime ends. That's where the episode ends. With um, everyone having a go and Bakugo blowing up the machine. The animation style is very similar. Like, it's exactly the same as the rest of My Hero. But we see their sort of in-game avatars with bigger eyes and more, like, a chibi design, which is really cool. So it's just getting to explore the characters in, like, different animation styles. And I, and I quite like that. I think that's really cool and interesting. And I'm going to be honest, it just gives them a lot more leeway and a lot more creativity with this episode to sort of try something different, do something new that they wouldn't normally get to do within the anime. So having a special like this is just really cool and gives a lot more creative freedom to the cast to sort of sort of play around with stuff. And we obviously get a lot of screen time from our favorite characters, obviously Bakugo, Deku, Todoroki. But we also get a, quite a bit of screen time for the other characters in Class 1A, which don't normally get a screen a lot of screen time, like the tail guy, like the sugar guy, like the invisible girl, like Mina and Froppy, they recently have had a lot less screen time. So it's really nice to see them sort of making up for it and seeing like all of them get to have the limelight and sort of share their fair share of the episode, which is really cool to see. We also get a lot of cool fights and just a lot of random hero matchups, which is really cool. I don't know, it just felt really creative, really fun, really silly and goofy. And it was nice to have that sort of one-off episode where they could just be free and do what they want. It it just felt really refreshing, especially from like the past couple of episodes of My Hero, where it's been quite depressing with like all the shit that's gone on with like Shigaraki and like Vigilante Deku. It's it's nice to have this sort of fun, creative side and seeing all the characters in situations that you wouldn't normally see them in. It kind of gives, like, sports festival vibes with all the heroes fighting each other. But, again, it puts them up against people that they wouldn't normally go up against. So it just... It just shows how interesting they are. It made Sero really weak for whatever reason. I don't know why. I think feel like Sero could do a lot more than what the AI was letting him do. But, again, it was AI, so it's not real. So it's not a full interpretation of how accurate these fights would be. But I still think it's very interesting. It does end up with uh, Class 1A getting banned from playing card games, which I'm not 
too sure if that will carry over into future episodes as like a little law detail which they keep referring back to from this one episode which i do believe would be quite cool if they do keep it within the continuity that they're not allowed to play card games i just think it'd be funny I thought when I first heard of this episode that they was going to be promoting their own card game, which you would be able to play on like a mobile or like an Xbox or in real life. But no, I, I haven't seen like a My Hero card game like being announced at the same time as this. So I don't know. I'm a little upset. I feel like they could have got away with like doing a video game out of this episode or like helping promote like a new card game that was coming out. I don't know. They, they just missed an opportunity to like merchandise and sell a couple of products. It was a missed opportunity, I'm going to be honest. So, just because the episode was creative doesn't mean that it has, like, the most interesting or in-depth storyline. The episode was quite dull and had a very basic storyline, but they made up for that with the creativity of the fights, the creativity of the character interactions, and that's what I liked about it. I liked, like, just the creative freedom that they got. The animation style and the voice acting, again, very similar to the rest of My Hero with, like very good voice acting and animation so there isn't really much there to comment on because it isn't like a new thing that i'm taking a look at it's something that we've talked about here on the channel many a times but it is just the the sort of creative freedom that they had which really amazed me and i'm surprised an episode like this actually got greenlit and actually happened and it isn't the first time we've had like an ova for like my hero we've had quite a few of them for example the baseball episode or the zombie episode or I know there have been more, but I can't think of them off the top of my head. But this is one of the very few that have been dubbed, which I feel is very unfair. I feel like they should dub a, a, a few more of them just because, like, it, 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 they're good. They're very interesting to watch. And other than that, there isn't much else I have to say about this. I feel like this is, like, an 8 out of 10 episode that you should go watch it for yourself and go support it so that we can get more OVAs of My Hero just any extra my hero content is always a bonus and always going to be good for me and especially with the new movie and the new season coming out i thought i had to review this before i watched them just to get the my hero hype train going again but other than that i don't really have much else to say so i hope you all enjoyed this youtube video i'll see you all next one. i hope you all have an excellent day and goodbye just comment down below uh what you thought of this episode and how well you thought it did because uh i i, I have a solid feeling that it's an eight out of ten You're not obligated to stay till the end. I hope you know that. Like, go watch another video, preferably of mine, because that's how YouTube knows you like my stuff.